welcome to Team 2 by 4 Let's Tech Talk. I'm Dorian. And I'm Drew. Today we will be talking about programming. Programming may arguably be one of the most important parts of your robot. Bad code can make a well-built robot perform poorly. First, let's talk about the two programming environments people use, ECC and RobotC. Both have their benefits. ECC, which is excellent for beginners using its drag and, drag and drop system, has an excellent compiler and supports full text editing. On the other hand, we love the built-in debugging function of RobotC. The active debugger is excellent for identifying problems quickly at competition. But at the end of the day, both environments are very overall, very similar overall. I personally use RobotC as it has some very useful built-in functions. You should become familiar with basic C-like syntax. Make sure you know how to use variables, functions, and loops. There are two sections of code for the best competition, operator control and autonomous. First, let's talk about autonomous. Autonomous mode can provide quick and easy points for teams. All you need are encoders or another sensor to measure distance. Basically, your autonomous should have a function that makes your robot go a specified distance or raise the arm to a specified height. You can achieve this using encoder values or potentiometers. Check the encoder value and see if it has reached the required value. When it has, terminate the motor power. Here's an example of some code. Here you see a wall loop that applies privacy to the until the encoder value reaches the value of the distance. The variable error is used to compensate for if one side is going faster than the other. Please take into account that many unexpected, unexpected things can happen in autonomous. For example, your robot might become stuck driving up on a game piece, hitting another robot or a wall. Meanwhile, motors keep running and eventually burn out. In order to prevent this, enable a timer that turns off motors and goes on to the next step when a few seconds have passed. Otherwise, you'll overheat your motors and be sunk for the rest of the match. Now let's talk about operator control. Basic operator control involves getting the value of the joysticks on the controller and transmitting those to the robot. You might think that not much code is involved in operator control, and in some cases, you'd be right. However, operator code can allow drivers to become much more efficient through presets or operator auto. Presets basically raise the arm or elevator to a specified height. This allows drivers to raise the intake to the correct height without having to adjust it, saving time. Here's an example of code, which is very similar to the autonomous. Like before, a while loop applies power to the motors until the encoder value reaches within two or another margin of error of the value of the variable, spe variable height specified. After the height is reached, power is applied to keep the arm at the current height. However, it is important that the driver not lose total control of the robot when a preset is activated. In order to achieve this, when a button is pressed, it changes a Boolean variable to true. And while the Boolean variable is true, the arm moves up or down. Once the arm gets to the desired height, the Boolean variable then becomes false, stopping the operator arm. Thanks for joining us on another episode of 2 by 4 Talk. We hope you'll come and check out our next episode on lifting mechanisms.